Hello everyone, Annie Dickerson here. And today I wanted to take a moment to talk about something that makes everyone super awkward and nervous, especially when it comes to talking to new investors that you've never met before, that you've never talked to before. Can you guess it? It is talking about money specifically how much money the investor has, how much money they make, and how much money that they want to invest. Now think about this, right? You spent all this time creating content, educating investors, creating your funnel, building your systems. Now it's working, right? People are starting to come into your funnel and people are starting to pop up on your calendar to schedule calls with you. Now, the last thing you want to do is hop on a call after all of that hard work and then feel really awkward and nervous, right? You hop on the call and you're like, hello, uh, can I ask how much money that you make, right? It makes them feel really awkward and it makes you feel really awkward too. And so I'm going to teach you one simple little trick. You're going to laugh when you hear how simple this is, but it's a super simple little trick that if you just do this one thing, I guarantee you it'll take all of the awkwardness out of the conversation and it'll put you at ease and it'll put your investors at ease. Okay. So imagine that you go into the conversation, you're on the phone. Most of the time you're on the phone, right? So you're on the phone, you're talking to the investor. The first thing you want to ask, right? Is how much money they make? No, 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 of course not. The first thing you want to get to know them. You want to build that rapport, right? You want to get to know who they are, where they're from. Do they have kids? What do they like to do? And then maybe you get into their investing goals. So you learn a little bit more about them and what brought them to this conversation. Why did they sign up with you? Where did they find out about you? And where are they hoping that these investments can take them in their life and with their family? So that you have to set the foundation first. So you're building that rapport, you're building that trust. So now they know you a little bit, they're open to sharing a little bit. Now you make that transition into talking about the money. Now, instead of just saying, okay, so now we're done talking about the investor goals. Now we're going to talk about your money, right? Then all of a sudden they clam up, right? They've built all this trust with you and you say, you're going to ask them about money. And all of a sudden they're like, <gasps> Oh, no. Now I have to expose myself. Now I have to tell them, tell this stranger how much money I make. And in Western society, we've been trained like that's something you keep really close to the chest. You don't tell anybody about that. And so to diffuse the situation, what you want to do is use a strategy called pre-framing pre-framing. And so what you do is before you start to ask them these very personal questions, you pre-frame it. In other words, you let them know what's coming up. And because it's awkward, all you have to do is call that out. You just say, Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing your investing goals for with me. And now we're going to talk a little bit about something that's a little bit awkward. So I'm going to ask you a little, a few questions about your uh, money situation, your personal finances, and it may feel kind of awkward, but I promise that everything that we talk about will stay between us right? So you call out the elephant in the room. You don't just pretend that there's no elephant there. You say, well, here's the elephant. You know, it's there. I know it's there and we're going to address it, right? So that's all it is. You pre-frame it by letting them know, hey, this part might get a little bit awkward for you. It's awkward for me too. And I, you know, we need to do this part in order to move forward so that I can help you and I can find the right investments for you. And that's it. That's the trick. So what I want you to do is on that next investor call, try out this little trick. Just put that in there before you ask them about their money and see if it puts them and you a little bit more at ease. All right. And also do me a favor. Once you've done so, comment below and let me know, did this trick work or do you have other tricks that you use when talking to investors? I'm Annie Dickerson. Thank you so much for listening to this quick tip. I hope it helps.